So in the treatment of uh, JNA, I already told you that the surgery is a mainstay of treatment. And in the surgery, again there is open surgical approaches. And there are also uh, endoscopic surgical approaches. Surgical considerations of endoscopy surgery I already explained. And uh, in the lateral wall of nose, you, again you know that this uh, JNA originating in the spinoparacan foramen, which is located posterior end of middle terminate, inferior, middle and posterior, lateral wall of nose, inferior, middle and superior terminate. And here comes uh, spinoid sinus and your palate. So to reach there, there are so many uh, surgical approaches for small tumors, medium sized tumors and also uh, extensive tumors. So for tumors limited to the nasopharynx with or without minimal extension to the spinoid sinus, here comes spinoid sinus or to this here comes coena so either here is coena this is nasopharynx and coena so if the tumor is limited to nasopharynx with minimal extension with or without minimal extension to spinoid sinus and coena you can go through palate isn't it so that becomes your transpalatal approach so in transpalatal approach the classical incision is wilson's incision okay wilson's u shaped incision So around 2.5 cm anterior to this hard and soft junction of hard and soft palate, we keep a U-shaped incision. 2.5 cm anterior to junction of hard and soft palate. Then submucoperiosteal flap is elevated till you reach the posterior end of uh, soft pa uh, hard palate. And through that you can, in, through this way you can reach the uh, tumor which is limited to the nasopharynx with a minimal extension to spinoid sinus or coina. So that is transpalatal and this transpalatal approach has got an advantage of no visible scar and also there is very good healing occurs, right? And if it is into the extended from here into the nasal cavity or with minimal invasion into the sinuses, we have to go through a transnasal maxillary approaches, can be either a lateral rhinotomy. Uh, lateral rhinotomy and different types of maxillectomy was already explained in a previous class. So please see that video for further details. So you can go with a lateral rhinotomy and medial maxillectomy uh, and also an extended lateral rhinotomy. Extended lateral rhinotomy is in a most incision, classical most incision for lateral rhinotomy. This uh, incision will curve into the nasal cavity. Through the area of nose it will curve into the nasal cavity. But in an extended lateral rhinotomy, this will go downwards with a paramedian lip splitting incision and the uh, remaining part is in the intraoral cavity. So if the dissection area or the plane of dissection needs beyond the infraorbital neurovascular bundle, you have to go with an extended lateral rhinotomy and extended subtotal maxillectomy if needed. And also another one is E4 to 1 approach. In that case, an incision is in the gingivo buccal sulcus. Inside the oral cavity, the gingivo buccal sulcus between the upper two molars. So again, it has got a very good uh, exposure without scar. So that is the advantage of this E4 to 1 approach. Next is uh, transfacial approaches. Under that comes mainly two approaches. One is a maxillary swing and also uh, total maxillary removal and reinsertion. Maxillary removal and reinsertion. So this is purely postgraduate topic. You have to read and make prepared uh, for short notes on that. If you have any doubt, just ask me. Because the each uh, topic uh, needs around one hour. So it becomes so elaborate. That is why I am just mentioning the names. Postgraduate place makes note on each one. And if you have any doubt, just ask. Okay. Infratemporal force approach. 
Depending upon the extension approach will vary. In vertebral fossa approach mainly uh, fish type C and D. C and D. Fish type C and D is most commonly used in extensive JNA. Okay. Next is craniofacial resection. And in some cases we have to go for combined approaches that is depending upon the uh, extent of the tumor then the vital structures involved and if you, we want to preserve some areas then also the surgeon's expertise etc. Combined approaches more than one approach is used. The commonly used combined approaches one is transparatal plus lateral rhinotomy. Okay. Transparatal plus lateral anatomy. That is one commonly used uh, combined approach. Okay, combined approach. Then another commonly used uh, combined approach is Sardana's approach. Okay. That is, we go for an uh, partial transpalatal that is without removing the bone of hard palate we go with a sublabial approach with a partial transpalatal approach that is sardana's approach the, uh, one is you do a midfacial degloving elevate it and then go for a transzygomatic okay midfacial degloving plus transzygomatic again there is very wide exposure with a without a visible scar midfacial plus transzygomatic Then another commonly used combined approach is a triple approach. Triple approach. Of in that case we do a transpalatal, a lateral rhinotomy along with a Cadwell look approach. Okay. So transpalatal plus lateral rhinotomy plus a Cadwell look approach. So that is called triple approach of Hiranandani. Okay. You can make any own combinations, but these are the commonly used uh, co uh, combined approaches for JNA. And that is triple approach of Hiranandani. Another commonly used approach is this uh, infratemporal fossa approach with the transfacial approaches. So this transfacial and infratemporal fossa, these two. And this can be combined with perivisual resection also. So, all these are uh, the approaches for open surgery. Definitely, it will be there will be wide, very wide exposure. But as I already told, there is chance of uh, increased chance of morbidity, then uh, long duration of hospital stay, and also uh, cosmetic deformities will be there. That is why uh, surgeons uh, nowadays surgeons prefer to go with an endoscopic approach. Okay. So we have discussed the, everything about JNA uh, through various uh, parts that is starting from the theories of origin of JNA then came the um, origin and spread of JNA, clinical features, histopathology, then investigations of choice, then the staging and also different types of treatment modalities. Go through all these videos, study and uh, Ask if you have any doubts regarding these chapters.